No Room for Jesus. Some time later, the emperor told his men to count all the people in the land. He wanted to know how many there were. The only way to do this easily was for everybody to go back to his old family home. Mary and Joseph had to go to a town called Bethlehem. Their family went away back to the great King David, who used to live there hundreds of years before. Bethlehem was a very long way from Nazareth. There were no cars or buses to ride in. Then, the only way to travel anywhere was to walk or perhaps ride on a donkey. It is likely that Joseph got a donkey for Mary. It was a very hot, dusty journey. It took Mary and Joseph a long, long time. When they arrived in Bethlehem, at last, they were very tired. They called at the door of the hotel. Please, may we have a room for the night? They asked, but the hotel was already full of people. There was no room for them there. And all the houses in the town were already full of people. There was no room for them anywhere. Where could they go? In the end, someone said, I have a stable. There is a little place in there that you can have. So Mary and Joseph went to sleep in with the animals. But they were much too tired to worry about that. They were so glad to have somewhere to sleep at all. That night, the baby was born. The Lord of the whole universe was born in a stable. Mary wrapped the little baby up in a blanket. She put him to sleep on the warm, clean hay in a manger. This was the feed box for the animals. Those animals must have got a big surprise to see a baby in their manger. 